All right, everybody, this is Ross. Uh, I wanna to talk to you guys today about mushrooms. We did our tour, our spring tour of the backyard. I wanted to show you guys what was going on back here now that everything's flowering and leafing out, everything's looking beautiful and spring is here and it's wonderful. I wanted to uh, update you guys on the mushroom patches that we, we created last fall. And I had totally forgotten about them in the tour. So I wanna do a separate thing now discussing how this is all looking and if you you may have recalled that we set up a shiitake mushroom patch in here in fact we had about from this location here we had one species or one source of the shiitakes and then around this area here in a much wider area we had a different species of shiitake that comes from paul stamets i was told it may even only take um, three months before you see shiitake mushrooms. And I was digging around in here and I'm not really seeing, I mean, I guess I am right up in here. You can see some of this mycelium that is forming here, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot of this. And I guess the take rate on some of this wasn't really all that great. And if I come back down to different locations, maybe, um, maybe I'm just not seeing it but for the most part, a lot of this shiitake spawn over here in this location didn't take. And you can see, you know, we did see some, some mycelium in here. That white stuff that's along the wood chips that kind of looks like fluff. Um, you know what I'm talking about? It looks like marshmallows. Now, if I come and show you guys the King Strafaria mushroom patch that we did, I think you're going to be surprised, I'm surprised by the results and how different the patches look. And I wonder why that is. I wonder if it has something to do with the species of tree that we used. Uh, we used the, um, a sycamore, I believe it was, that was delivered to my house. One of the local tree guys came over um, through Chip Drop and through Chip Drop I was able to get a sycamore that they chopped up and delivered to the house. And I didn't get to choose the species of, of tree. That's just what I got. And I was worried, you know, saying, oh no, maybe the sycamore isn't gonna be good enough. But if I come down here, I was literally just trying to expose this blackberry plant down here uh, because we had covered them with the wood chips to help protect them through the winter time. But even just like unveiling some of this, it's incredible how much mycelium is here. It's insane. In fact, it's so insane that the whole, it's like an ocean of mycelium and it's completely tight, first off. I can barely even break this apart. And I think this is just a giant success. It's all over this bed, all the way up to even here. I have about 12 by 4 feet here of King Strafaria spawn, I would assume, of this mycelium. And I guess what I could do at this point, look at all this. It's, a, it's an ocean, guys. It's a freaking ocean. So I'm, I'm excited to see if I can even get some wine cap mushrooms. That's what they are. The King Strafaria is the wine cap mushroom. I imagine I'll be able to harvest some of that very soon. I'm not entirely sure of when they, they pop up, what time of the year. But if it's a summer thing, then I'll have to wait till the summer. But I think it'd be in my benefit here if I could take some of this mycelium and move it over to the shiitake spawn, to the shiitake beds. And I wonder if that'll work, number one. Number two, um, is something already taking over that bed? Is there already a mushroom that has, you know, latched itself onto these wood chips? I didn't see any. I'm barely seeing any mycelium at all. So I wonder if there's still time. I wonder if I can do that, bring some of this over there and just spread it around and see if that works. I mean, I don't really know, first off, if that is King Strafaria, but I assume it is because I inoculated it with King Strafaria. But I guess it's possible it's something else. Um, so for all the mushroom experts out there, 
what do you guys think? Um, first off, I'm proud that this is even working the way it is because I've, I first off, you put some wood chips down. Like, I'll show you some of the uh, people who don't know exactly what they're doing with wood chips is that I'll, I put some wood chips down, like let's say over here in this location, and let's just dig around here. We're not gonna find really much of any mycelium. Um, so, you know, this is breaking down and whatnot and forming compost, but there really isn't a whole lot of activity going on in here. I wonder what this is. <laughs> There's a plant that's buried here. And raspberry. I wonder if this is dead. I guess this must be dead. That's probably why I buried it. But the point, <laughs> the point is here, guys, is that, uh, look, here's some mycelium right there. It appears to be some mycelium, but it's a much slower process and there's not a whole lot of it here. So what a difference in this bed over here that I created, how incredible is that, that we are able to put some mushroom spawn down, inoculate this, and it just completely takes over and forms just a, a complete ocean of mycelium underneath our feet. So, yeah, I don't know. It's super cool to me. We ought to get more into mushrooms, I think, guys. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys know what I should do. Any ideas? I'd appreciate it. We'll talk to everybody soon, okay? Uh, take care out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. All right?